Right, welcome back, uh, my fellow viewers on YouTube. Uh, it's been a while since I've posted because, uh, well, I haven't given up, but like, I've got the Ninja 650 there, uh, still ready to go, but this thing here came up cheap. Uh, I sold the DRZ400E to a very good friend of mine. Uh, it came with lifetime warranty and support. So you heard it right here, you heard it first. Uh, but anyways, I got a good money for that bike and I was able to uh, have some play money left over that I purchased this. And I've got another bike out the front that I'll love to show you in a second. But first of all, uh, this is a 1995 CBR600F3. Now there was four incarnations of these series of bikes. The F4 was fuel injected, the F3 was carbureted, and the last of the carburetors before they went to injection. So that's part of the reason why I purchased this bike. Another reason why, because I can work on carburetors, another reason why is I purchased this bike is because uh, it seems to have an electrical fault. Now, what gives that to me, gives that away to me, is this uh, earth cable here. And another thing is like, when you're buying a bike, you wanna see things that have been put on and are not factory, so I think all this wiring here going to the stator, this is the, the rectifier. Uh, I've got another one of these coming, the, a factory one. Uh, but yeah, I think it's got a, uh, a spark issue and a fuel issue, which equals no run. Uh, but I do know the engine is not locked up because I did hear the engine crank over. So what I'm gonna do today is I've got, well, I paid $400 for this bike and I've got $400 worth of parts that are going into it. So it's gonna owe me 800 and hopefully I have a running bike. So what I've purchased is a new battery, a new rectifier, I've got a new stator, I've got a carburetor kit to go in there and I've got an ultrasonic bath cleaner. I've got a, uh, a, uh, air, a air filter canister coming, uh, all the wiring's there and that sort of stuff. I've got a fuel pump coming. I've got on the other side of the motor here, I have got a uh, uh, pickup, static pickup coil for the, the CDI and I've got a secondhand CDI coming as well. So that's pretty much everything you could possibly do to the electrics and the uh, fuel system on a CBR600. So hopefully once I've replaced all that, I'll have a running bike. But today I'm going to uh, jump the gun and I'm going to install the new battery in it. Put a little bit of, uh, put a teaspoon of fuel down each one of those bores of the cylinder. And I'm gonna crank it over and see if I hear any backfiring or uh, things. Now I do know that this bike cranks over. Oh, one other thing I'm gonna be doing is taping up those uh, Venturis and I will be high pressure washing this bike down and I will be removing the uh, the fairings and putting the fairings on eBay. So I've got the, uh, I've got the side panels, I've got on the front, the only things missing are these two inspection panels, but apart from that, it's a complete fairing kit. Uh, for anyone out there who wants or needs it, it'll be on eBay. All right, are you back soon? Hold up. Okay, I've just finished giving the, uh, the CBR a wash down with uh, the high pressure washer over there. Uh, put some rags over the top of the Venturis. Uh, yeah, it's clean, it's, not happening, so I'm gonna speed up the process, so I'm gonna get my air compressor out, and I'm gonna blow off all the excess water. Also, I've got a, uh, a yard blower as well that I can use to uh, blow off the water, so I need to flatten that battery. But also, speaking about batteries, uh, put the battery down there, and she's out. And this is the battery that arrived last week. It is exactly the same, so we have our winner. So I'll put the battery in and hopefully my fuel pump is what's arriving today from Amazon. So I'll whack the fuel pump in, which only cuts in uh, in the high revs and I'll put the battery in but and uh, give it a turn over. But before I install the fuel pump, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some uh, teaspoon of fuel down the Venturis and see if I've got spark. If I've got no spark, then we've got bigger problems with the uh, rectifier and the stator, in which that case I'll take all the fairings off, put the uh, new rectifier on with the new pigtails and the new connector onto that there, 
and put the uh, put the stator in down there and on the opposite side put the uh, the pulse pickup in and hopefully also my CDI will arrive and see if it runs at least. If it doesn't run, carbies come out, go into the ultrasonic bath and, as a whole and put new uh, seals, jets and everything from the kits I got from uh, eBay. So that's it. And I've always wanted a Repsol Honda, so hopefully this one uh, turns out to be in a Repsol Honda. But that might be in a later video. Alright, thanks guys. Alright, so they've got the fairings off and I've had to take the cores off to get to the spark plugs. Bit of a pain in the bum. Uh, I've got the first spark plug out. And just as I suspected, uh, we have got, if I bring my finger down, a very oily, fuely spark plug. So they're relatively new. Uh, so I'm guessing this bike had no spark, and that's the reason why the side panels are missing on the uh, on the fairing. And which that means, since the five parent side, since there's no spark, we're looking at rectifier, and we're looking at stator, and we'll do the CDI. I've got a fuel cut relay as well, which I didn't mention before. And we'll do the carbs, uh, basically give the the, uh, the bike the full rundown. Uh, in the meantime, I've got all the fairings over there ready to sell. But um, yeah, that's all I'm going to do for this video. And uh, next video, I'll be installing all the bits when they arrive from uh, thing. Actually, one more video I might do is once I pull the part, pull, pull the spark plugs, I'll put the battery in and I'll crank it over just because uh, I made a rookie mistake by. Uh, assuming that these were capped off, um, separate to the outer venturi, uh, which they're not, and I got some water down the carburetors. So then I quickly uh, put some two-stroke uh, pre-mix down there, and I'm going to pull those plugs, give it a crank over, just to make sure I've got nice compression, and uh, that'll be it for today. All right, thanks, guys. All right, we've got the battery in and all done up. Uh, we don't have the ignition coils in, so we're not gonna test for spark. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go for compression. So, here goes, do we have power? We've got an indicator, cancel that. Oh, I've got a sound. We've got a light, so the front's off. Oh, that relay is good. That really is a funny one. Uh, high beam, low beam. Uh, what do we got? Choke. All right. We're not going to muck around too much, but we're going to see if this thing turns over. So I've got side stand down, and we are in neutral. So if we go to run, that was petrol uh, in the eye. We shall stand back for that one. All right. Here we go. I do believe that spat out a whole bunch of water and uh, whatnot that was left down there. So I'm gonna go wash my eyes out because it's really tingly. Um, but we're gonna leave the video off there. So we know it turns over. We know we haven't got a locked up engine. We know we've got those carbs to do. We know we've got a, that rectifier to do because there was no spark there. So basically this is an all in, first in, best dressed bike. Uh, gonna do the light, go through it. Make sure everything's done and within spec, and hopefully when we turn it over, she'll start straight up in the next video. All right, thanks guys. Uh, see you then.